What's going on, my little ice cubes out there? It's your boy Bears Freeze. I get Freeze here as you want to call me Dimitri, and today I'm back with another video. So today, guys, you're actually seeing me at a different angle. You're seeing me come front of an angle from right here, not like my normal videos, where the angle is from right here, because today I'm doing something a little bit special. Today, guys, I'm actually going to be doing a video where I'm going to be showing you how I make my videos, the process I go through them, the equipment I use. I'm really just going to be going through how I really record my stuff and the equipment I use so you guys can take this into consideration if you are going to be like starting YouTube yourself. But yeah, as you can see, we have the beautiful Patrick Starr riding the fish man as the background of my computer just because I, I love Patrick and he's the funniest person in the world. But yeah, so we're going to real quick start off with how I record my face cam. Okay, guys, so this is actually what I use for my face cam. I use the Logitech webcam software, which as you can see, here's my Logitech, as you guys can see my mouse. I hope that it's detecting cursor right now. If it's not, then you can see the mouse is the Logitech XD Pro webcam C920, and it is a beautiful webcam. You can take pictures or record videos, and it's very, very, very cool. It's even got motion detection, which is really, really, really cool. So that's how I would record my face cam. So I would just go to quick capture, and it's just gonna take me right here. I go to video, but since my webcam's already in use, I can't use it right now just because I'm using it in a separate program. So as you can see, it has the controls, the webcam it is, the mic, the zoom, if you want it muted, your resolution, all the cool webcam options. It's, a, it's actually a very, very, very good software. So next, this would be where we go into a gameplay. So this is where I record all of my gameplay. It's all with Elgato, Elgato Game Capture. Now, you're gonna see that there's the game capture right here, but then there's a drop down. That's because I actually have the Elgato Game Capture HD and the HD 60. The thing is, is the HD was made for the original consoles, Xbox 360, PS3. So I use the HD when I record Xbox 360, but then the HD 60 if I record Xbox One and when I record PS4. And as you can see, it has all the great settings on it. You have stream commands and settings where you like if you want a cool face cam and stuff like that, you have your game audio, your Twitch stuff. You guys should really check me out on Twitch, Chris Freeze. I'm actually, I've been streaming a little bit lately, so you guys should check out my Twitch. Uh, my microphone right here it has the commentary, the record, the stream button. It talks about your sound capture when you're capturing your friend's stuff. And the other cool thing is that it has a cool little editing software that you can do where, like, when you're looking through and you want to get a start point, instead of exporting a larger file, you can like cut it there and then split it and just turn it into something in here and then as you can see you can export it as many different things as youtube facebook twitter email apple tv ipad iphone movie maker and files and i always make mine files where now this gets to the part where we are going to go to our editing software and this is where we sync the face cam and where we sync the gameplay together. So I'll see you in our editing software. So yes, here we are guys. This is the editing software. I use Sony Vegas Pro 13 when I'm editing videos and we're just gonna real quick open up a file and I'm gonna show you how I would sync something and how I would make something. So I have my Logitech file here, but I deleted all my face cams because I moved them into this Microsoft Movie Maker clips because this is actually where I used to record and put a bunch of my videos. I used to put them in Microsoft Movie Maker and then make them from there. But then I stopped when I got the Logitech, so, but I still put my clips in here. So we're just gonna real quick like, we will throw, what should we put? Let's just put this face cam right here. So as you can see, we have the video itself, and then we have its audio clip right there. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to open, we're gonna go back to this folder where we saw this, and we're gonna go to Elgato Game Captures, and we're just gonna pick a random gameplay. We'll just take this gameplay, and then we'll just move it down a little bit so it's not overlapping the one that it's already at, and then we'll bring it up one, and then boom. So this would be how I would sync it. I would take my face cam, I would edit the position of it, so I usually have it set as preset, so it's in the top corner. Then I would find my face cam and drag it around, so imagine this is where I wanted my face cam. Then I could just play it from here, and it would be synced with everything else. So this would be an example of an edited video. Now as you can see, it says media offline right here because I actually deleted the face cam that went with this video, but as you can see, how this all is, I can real quick show you. So we have, like, we have this right here, 
and it would just go with the cuts where every cut was made. You have the gameplay down here that's cut in the equal parts in a section that I'm just putting something in. It goes right there. Then as you can see, the music is down here and the music is actually cut, but I don't cut my music anymore. And then at the end, we have my outro, which has everything else in it. And then there might be like Let's see if I can find a vlog that I've just edited. Well, I couldn't find a vlog that I had edited. I must have deleted all the face cams that went with them. But pretty much, as you saw with the gameplay one, it's pretty much just that top part. But it's just that and music and then my outro. It's just that. But now, guys, we're going to get into creating a thumbnail. So I will see you guys where I create my thumbnail. So this is one of the other places where I make my thumbnails that don't need as much work done on them. This website is called PickMonkey.com. And PickMonkey.com is a great place for editing stuff. And it's a beautiful web thing. So I'm just going to show you how I would edit something here. So let's real quick pick maybe this picture. This picture was from a while ago when I had hair and from when I uploaded a video saying I am a hacker and I put my head into a jacket and this was actually done in Photoshop. But imagine I wasn't happy with how this looks. The thing that's great about this place is look, I can auto adjust it and like look at that, that turns the tone down a little bit. And then the other thing is, is the adding of overlays. So imagine I wanted to throw like, let's say, we wanted to put a picture that would like make it really come out like it was a hacker so we put keemstar and we then rotate that and we can just throw him coming out of the corner so that's the really cool thing about this website it's very easy with adding stuff like that and they even do text and stuff like that and the other cool thing is they have their own like overlays like cookouts like you can get like all this stuff you can get baby stuff you can get Wedding, Stars and Stripes, Great Outdoors, Glooms and Glory, all that cool stuff that you can get, which is actually really interesting. Guys, that's really it on how I make my videos and everything like that. Now, what I'm real quick just going to finalize off by doing is I'm just going to run down all of the equipment that I use when I'm making my videos. So this includes my microphone, my microphone arm, my webcam, all the software I use, my keyboard, my mouse, and my mouse mat, because I'm just going to run down everything to you guys that I use. So real quick, again, my webcam is the Logitech C920. Very, very, very good webcam. I recommend that when you are starting, because there are a lot of ones that are pretty bad. This is the one that you want to start with. It's around $110, but you can get some good discount codes out there and only get it for $90. My next piece of equipment that I use is my microphone, the Blue Yeti Stereo Blackout Microphone. Beautiful microphone. This is more of a high-end microphone, so I recommend buying something along the lines of the Blue Nessie, which is one, like, kind of theme down from it. It's like a really cool mic. I used to have it before. It kind of looks like a mic that would be for a radio show. It stands up and stuff, and it's got, like, the snowball top, but it's attached or something and you can move it and you just talk right into it or what I really recommend is the blue snowball which just has a nice little tripod thing that you can set up and speak right into and it's a beautiful sounding microphone the microphone arm I use is the Rode PSA 1 it works beautifully with the blue Yeti the blue snowball and the razor siren the razor siren is a microphone that I will will recommend I recommend that to many people too that is another very good microphone to buy my keyboard is the razor black widow x chroma I highly recommend recommend it. It's very good. You can put in portable key. You can make it like W starts Google Chrome, M starts Sony Vegas, anything like that. My mouse is the Razer Diamondback. I very, very, very much so recommend this mouse. It's beautiful for any hand and it's just got a great feel to it. And my mouse mat is the Razer Firefly. I completely recommend it because you can move it in any part that you want. It doesn't get stuck on the table so you don't have to worry about it getting stuck if you need to move it somewhere. It's just a beautiful, beautiful mouse mat. And again, all the software that I use is the Logitech webcam software. Now the only way you can use this is through the Logitech if you have one. If you don't use Microsoft Movie Maker's version of their webcam because it's beautiful if you use that. That's actually what I'm using right now because I just wanted to show you the Logitech thing. 
so I'm using Microsoft Movie Makers right now. Again, my editing software that I do use is Sony Vegas Pro 13. My game capture software is Elgato HD. My Photoshop is for my thumbnails, and so is PicMonkey.com. And I'm going to leave everything in the description, guys. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video. And if you did, remember to leave a big thumbs up on it. And also, guys, remember to subscribe and comment below Ice Cube. See you nice and cool during these hot summer days that are turning into these hot fall days upon us. Also, guys, remember when you aren't subscribed and turn my notifications on so you get a notification on your phone, tablet, and even laptop every time I upload another video. But yeah, guys, it's been Freeze here. Hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you on my next video. Later. Hey, guys, I hope you did enjoy this video. And if you did, remember to leave a big thumbs up on it. And remember to subscribe to become a little ice cube. And I will see you all in my next video later.